how to prep for Savage. And in Yoshi P fashion, I'm going to show you my notes real quick, and then I'm gonna take them away because I have to read it because I took my notes on a notepad this time instead of on the computer. And basically, I'm gonna assume that you've finished the story. So that's your spoiler warning. Uh, but at that being said, if you're watching this video, I'm assuming that you've finished the story and have at least done the normal raids. So let's start there. I wouldn't say you have to rush to get through any of the story if you haven't yet. Enjoy it at your own pace because you only get to enjoy it once. But that being said, you have to finish the story and you have to finish the raid story. On the raids, I would do them at least once every single one. Just to, you have to in order to unlock it, you should know that. And then next week, I would at least do the fourth fight because you get the little like weapon token thingy. I don't know why I'm holding it up like I can, I have it in my hand, but you get the little weapon token thing that you need seven of them to trade in for the tome gear that we will get on the Savage release. So at the very least, you can have two of your seven out of the way before Savage even comes out. After that, I would say you should cap your tomes. Why is that? Because on the release of Savage Tier, we are getting crafted gear. And that's basically the basis of this entire video is prepping for your crafted gear, which is probably going to be what you need to use for the raid. So that would be capping your tomes. There's lots of ways to do this. There's hunt trains, there's experts, there's running any of the roulettes at level 100. Basically any level 100 content that you can do, cap your tomes because this is how we're going to have to buy tome mats that you can either use to make your craft gear or make gill. Cause you know, for some people they don't do savage, but this is their opportunity to make gill. Along with that, we are going to be getting new food and pot, so we should prep for that. How do we prep for that? Okay, first of all, there is going to be Aether Sands and Legendary Mats, which at this very time, you can farm right now. If you don't have those unlocked, you need to unlock the Folklore, which you need to turn in Purple Scripts. There are nine books, three for fishing, three for miner, and three for botanist, which you will need purple gathering scripts from. If you need those, you can do collectibles, or I suggest ocean fishing. After that, they all unlock the legendary nodes that you can have. That's what you should gather. Uh, especially the Aether Sand, you're gonna need more Aether Sand, especially for pots. And just enough of the legendary mats, maybe 50 to 100 of each, because you can actually pre-gather these this time, unlike other raid tiers. So you have two weeks, uh, roughly, maybe less because of the video time to get out there, uh, to gather your Aether Sand and legendary mats. So definitely can't do that. You can also make gill this way if you're not interested in savage, but you have your gatherers up, you can go make gills. Other things you can do is get materia. Uh, why do you need materia, you say? Well, because <laughs> you need to meld your gear and a lot of people are gonna pen to meld their gear. So hunt trains is probably your best source of, you know, getting materia. Also, you're gonna have to cap your tomes and with the nuts that you get, you can also buy materia. This, I will say, is the best time to make gill with materia because not everyone has hordes and stockpiles of it from all the days of, you know, the expansion. It's very fresh, so get your materia now. Um, you can do the EXs if you want. You're going to get 7, 10 accessories and weapon, respectively, from 1 and 2. However, it's going to be the same item level as the crafted gear. So I don't know which one's going to be better, but feel free to do those if you want. That's not mandatory. Then on to other things that you're going to have to do. I probably should have started this, but I'm going to say you want to get purple scripts, crafted purple scripts. I'm using the level 90, yeah, 90 culinarian collectible because I already pre-gathered all the mats in Endwalker because you are going to have to buy eight master recipe books. And if theory goes on whatever it's been in the past, 1600 crafted scripts per book which is 12,000 I think if I can do math um which you can and you can get those scripts from custom deliveries collectibles I think those are the only two ways if you have the whatcha 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 we'll call it whatever quests that are in all available you get crafted scripts from that so maybe you can use those to get your master recipe books but you will need those in order to craft the crafted gear the food and the pots so definitely hold or start hoarding some stuff for collectibles don't get them now. Don't just have the materials ready. You could pre-craft the collectibles, just don't turn them in because you're going to need those on the release of Savage, which is 7, 6, or 7.30. Um, other than that, it's just 
some intermediate mats that you can get like the um, what is it thunder silk you can just have some of those we don't exactly know what else is going to be needed i'm going to have some of the gems on standby because i just don't know what are going to be needed for pots or crafted gear so i'm just going to assume that something comes from gems because it always seems to be that way um get some of the leather and the level like 99 or 98 to 99 i think black star is another one of the goldsmith ones uh just high quality ready like 10 or 15 of those just because every single one of the you know crafted gear recipes always seems to need one so i'm just gonna have some of that stuff ready um just for the armor i'm gonna have the whatever the highest ingot is the highest leather is the highest cloth so that's my example of that i'm gonna have some of the new water that you can get from yaktal available too um, but other than that just have gems on standby in case those are needed and lastly for those of you who are going to be raiding in a static or going to have to, you know, travel to a different place called Dynamis, more than likely if you are in the American data center, um, you can get squadron manuals. You can buy these with wolf marks from PVP or send out your squadrons. Um, I don't know. We don't know if you're going to be able to world travel to Aether from Primal yet or if Dynamis is the only home for all of us. So that's the last thing that I would prep. Uh, very easy to get if you're doing front lines pvp every single day you should be able to get a couple of these no problem but yeah that's basically the best way to prep for savage you could practice your rotation because you know a lot of you know classes is rotation change but nobody's got time for that i know i certainly don't have time for that i'm just gonna wing it <laughs> But anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. I hope it helps you prep a little bit. Maybe make some gill. Maybe, you know, get an extra fight in the raid tier done week one. But we'll see. I hope you found it helpful. And as always, I hope you have a great day.